Hey guys, I have a lot of new makeup to test out. I just got a really big order from Ulta, so let's test out all this new makeup together. Finally picked up the e.l.f. Matte Poreless Putty Primer because I'm sick of using my regular one with a like mattifying serum. So I want to test this out. Um, first impressions, it's leaving a really big white cast. And the reviews were kind of iffy, so I was kind of iffy. Um, I don't really notice a difference between this one and the original. I guess this one is just taking away any initial shine that I have. Now for foundation, I picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy. This is too light, this is too dark, so I'm just going to mix the two. First going in with Wet n Wild, I'm just going to add a little bit because I don't like looking overly like cakey. I also appreciate the applicator on the Wet n Wild one. I don't know why Maybelline would not like have a pump or something with this. That's really stupid. Now I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream sponge and blend. I wanted it to kind of be a little bit on the darker side. That's why I added more of the Maybelline because my concealer is going to make me look really white. First impression though, both of these foundations are beautiful. Like my skin looks amazing. I also like that they're not overly dewy. Then I have this new liquid blush from Ulta. This is the Ulta Beauty one in the shade Dusty Rose. Dusty Pink, my bad. When I was blending this at Ulta, it didn't look that pigmented, so I'm kind of worried that it's not going to show up. Um, it's not bad. Not as pigmented as I would like, but she's cute. Now for powder, I'm going to use this e.l.f. powder foundation, but I'm going to use it as a setting powder today. Just to see. Oh gosh, super brightening, but it's what I like. I got like the fairest shade, which might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. I do really like a bright under eye though, so I'm not mad. Um, first impressions, this shit is drying. I'm gonna go in with the brush instead. And hopefully, oh yeah, a brush looks a lot better. Not the best, but it looks better. I'm not gonna have enough time to go to part two. Welcome to part two of me testing out my new makeup. This is like a huge Ulta order. So I finally picked up the Persona um, blush in Bubble. Look at how gorgeous. I use my Dior one religiously and honestly, it looks so spot on. So I'm excited. All right, here goes nothing. Ooh, she is pigmented. More pigmented than the Dior one, but oh my god. She looks exactly like the Dior one. She's identical to the Dior one, except she's just a little bit more pigmented, and the like brightness of this is a little bit more intense compared to Dior. Dior kind of adjusts to look warmer and more natural in your skin tone, but pretty identical. Okay, I just doused my face in the ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Mist. It's amazing. All right, I went ahead and did the rest of my makeup, but I'm going to try these new Kiss Lashes in the style Pompadour. They look so cute. That's really cute and natural and wispy. Finished my lip combo, my everything, so now I'm going to test out this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Mattifying Long Wear Spray. I've seen this everywhere. That was so harsh. This is like a regular hairspray. Like, it's not soft at all. It's really strong, so hold it like five feet away from your face i did i was not prepared but nonetheless this is the final look i am obsessed with everything the only thing i'm not crazy about is the elf powder this shit was really fucking drying underneath my other eyes um i had to go over with like other powder to smooth it out but other than that not a fan this is okay i think the color is just too light on me i might want to pick up a darker shade but this blush, mm, chef's kiss. This is probably my favorite thing I tried today. And the pompadour lashes. They are really cute. And I normally like really big extravagant lashes. But these like really seal the deal. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.